For ease of study, we're going to break this unit up into four main sections. Types of neurons, transmission of a nerve impulse down a neuron, transmission of a nerve impulse across a synaptic gap, and the reflex arc. We will begin with a comparison of the three types of neurons you will be responsible for in this unit. You may be required to discuss either structural comparisons, functional comparisons, or both. Structurally, all neurons have dendrites, axons, and a cell body, and all neurons can be myelinated. However, when we compare the structure of sensory neurons to motor neurons, we can see that the sensory neuron has long dendrites and short axons, whereas the motor neurons have short dendrites and long axons. Notice that the dendrite on the sensory neuron looks very similar to the axon on the motor neuron, and that the axon on the sensory neuron looks very similar to the dendrite on the motor neuron. Remember that these structures are defined by their functions, not by their appearance. The function of the dendrite is to carry the nerve impulse toward the cell body, and the function of the axon is to carry the nerve impulse away from the cell body. If instead of structure, we are comparing the functions of the three types of neurons, comparisons are easily made. The function of a sensory neuron is to carry the nerve impulse from the receptor, which initiates the nerve impulse, to an interneuron. Interneurons make up both the brain and the spinal cord. The function of the interneuron is to carry the nerve impulse from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. And the function of the motor neuron is to carry the nerve impulse from the interneuron to an effector. The effector is either a muscle or a gland that responds to the nerve impulse that has been received.